Hey, it's Rocket Rose coming at you. We're on a quick little beach run. Look, folks. <clears throat> I broke my Africa twin. The bike ain't but a month old, and I broke her. Because you know she ain't but so broke, cuz I'm on it right now. So yeah, tornado. I'm sorry, baby. So here's the story. Um, I don't know if it was yesterday, day before yesterday, whatever. I don't know. I tried to make an adjustment to my gear shift. You know, the little foot pedal on the left side that you use to shift your gears. And um, as any of you who ride dirt bikes or adventure bikes, you know that, you know, because of the size of the boots, there's usually not enough space for the gear shift for you to really use it properly. And you have to adjust it. Well, I tried to make an adjustment to it, and it wasn't exactly working out as well as I thought it would. So I, I actually, um, I stopped midway. I was like, I'll forget it. I'll do it later. And I went out for a ride, and I'm riding, and I went out. I don't know where I went. I went somewhere. And then I'm on my way back. And I guess I'd been out for an hour or so. And um, <clears throat> basically, I loosened up the little rod that connects the shifter, you know, up to the bike where it actually makes the shift changes. And it fell off while I was riding. So all I know is I went, I, I, I went, I put my, not reach down, but I took my left foot, went down to shift, shift the gear. And I think I wanted to come down from fourth to third or something. And I was hitting the lever and hitting the lever and it was just like stuck. It wasn't moving. And, <clears throat> you know, I was riding for a minute. <clears throat> not really too, tr too worried at the moment. At first, I thought it was just, okay, it's just awkward with the boot. I'm not, um, I'm not shifting properly. And so I'm figuring, okay, and so I'm playing with it and playing with it. Okay, and after a while, I realized, okay, it's not my, it's not my foot that's messed up. The lever's messed up. And I'm sitting there freaking out. I'm in fourth gear. Mind you, I, I mean, I rode home. Just, you know, I had to give it a lot, give it some clutch. I wasn't that far from home when I realized this, maybe two miles away. And, um, so I'm giving it, you know, I'm giving it some clutch and I ride home. Fortunately, blessedly, when I got home, none of the parts had actually fallen off of the bike. And then anybody who's familiar with making this adjustment, you know, it's one of those deals where you got the you got the rod and the rod has is threaded on both ends and then there's like a little nut at the top and the bottom that you use to tighten up and lock it in place. Well, the little nuts were still on the rod. So I was able to park and then sit there and play with it for about it took me about five minutes to get it right to be honest it shouldn't have taken that long but it did and i was able to put, install the rod back and i actually went ahead and made the adjustment so now you know i broke my bike but i fixed my bike and it's actually better than it ever was before um oh dag i finished this a little sooner than i thought um so we're on a little ride got a little surprise for you guys and um, you know maybe I'll just cut out this some of this between here and the surprise but uh, yeah if you ever need to make that adjustment and the moral of the story is this don't stop halfway through a mechanical job I mean, I really didn't have to stop what I was doing. I was just being overly anxious and wanted to go ride. I could have taken the time and got it right. And I definitely should have rode a while, stopped and checked it to make sure that everything was still tight. And I didn't do that either. 
so you know that's just poor is that a cop no it's not a cop oh i could have went so that's just poor mechanics on my part seeing a lot of other bikers out which is nice it's kind of cool it's not cold it's cool i did not bring my winter gloves though and at the rate it's cooling down i think my hands are going to be cold when i do get home let me see what is this doing oh it's telling me to turn and i didn't turn there okay so I don't want to go that way anyway. I don't know what that was doing. We're not doing that. If you look straight ahead, I got a surprise for you guys. We are at Chesapeake Bay Beach. North Beach is to the left, but we're just going to do this. I think we can just get away with doing Chesapeake Beach. Uh, let's turn. That is the Chesapeake Bay, people. Chesapeake Bay. See, what's he riding? I can't see. Let me see. Uh, can't tell. Yeah, but as you can see, the folks are out. Everybody's out. Enjoying their day. another biker out they doubled up oh uh, that was a good spot to stop okay let's see where we're gonna go I really just came out here to get a good little photo then I'm gonna be headed home uh, I don't know what is it like 20 30 minutes home I think it's like 30 minutes to get home Hopefully my hands don't freeze too much on that ride home. Oh boy, ain't even got no jacket on. I mean, it's one thing to be out here with no jacket, but it's cold. I mean, I got on one, two, three, I got on three layers, y'all, and I'm feeling the cool air on my arms. miles per hour I think I wanted to turn uh, that would have been that's where I wanted to go uh, let's turn around and go back over there lest we see something else let's try one more let's try one more let's try this one and if this isn't this is good we just want to get a couple of photos by the bay that's all There we go. Get a nice little view of the bay. Get a nice little view of Tornado. Let's see the folks out here. Since we out here, let's go ahead and get a little still photo.
Well, I definitely got to edit all of that out.